In this video, let's make a cute little monster in ZBrush. So here I am in ZBrush 2021.7. And so normally what I would do is go to Lightbox and grab something like the uh, Dynamesh just to, as a starting point. Um, another thing that I like to do to jumpstart my uh, sculpting is go to uh, Deformation, which is here. And if you use the gravity slider, which is uh, by default set to Y, it's a fast, really fast way to kind of get a more interesting shape than just a sphere. So this will work well for um, like a little cute little monster uh, that I'm planning on making. All right, so once I have my kind of basic body, I can sculpt it a little more using my move, move brush. So I can press X for my active symmetry and maybe shape it a little better. Just so it's something more organic looking, a little more interesting. Um, and once I have the basics for the uh, body, the next Thing I could do is let's pull out some feet, kind of chubby little feet. So I'm just gonna do something like this. Just hold down the control key and uh, using the standard brush, just kind of make a selection or a mask, I should say, on the bottom of the character. Now, if I press control and click anywhere on the canvas or on the uh, empty area, I can flip my mask. And once you flip your mask, you can go to the move tool and just pull out the legs just like that. So maybe something like this should work. Now if I hold on control key and drag, I can get rid of my mask, go back to my draw mode here, and maybe um, I'm going to switch to my dyn uh, Dynamesh to 256. Um, the Dynamesh button can could be found under, I believe it's under Geometry Dynamesh. Yes, th there it is. I just have mine dragged on to the, uh, my UI here. And now if I just press Control and drag and pay attention to these points here, I can see that the points have changed and now my uh, mesh has been re-Dynameshed. So if I hold down the shift key, I can just kind of uh, still in the uh, active symmetry mode, just kind of go over the model and just smooth it out a little bit. I'm kind of looking for like a cute little clay uh, look. I'm going to get out of the perspective mode and now hold down control shift and click and let's grab the uh, Let's grab this uh, knife tool. And now if I hold on control shift and drag, I can cut the bottom of my legs kind of like this. And that is what I was looking for as far as my character's feet. And now uh, if I hold on shift, I can smooth this out a little bit. So it's a little softer, right? So I'm happy with this. So here's the body. I got my feet. Next, I need some uh, arms coming out. So for the arms, let's do something uh, interesting. Let's go to our brushes and let's grab something like, I don't know, how about this snake cactus thing? Let's try, see how that works. Uh, it's ask, telling us to turn on Sculptures Pro. I'm going to say OK and turn this on. And still in the active symmetry, I'm just going to see if I can maybe make my brush a little smaller. And let's just see if we can kind of pull out little arms. Maybe it's a little too much. I just need, I like them chubby, but maybe not as long. Maybe something like that. So that was a fun little brush to just try just for fun. Now, I want to make sure that my uh, mesh is smooth just like the rest of the body. So now I'm going to go back to my uh, standard brush. And let's go ahead and press Control and drag to re-dynamesh. 
and now holding I'm gonna get out of the sculptures pro mode and what I want to do is just hold down the shift key and just smooth out my arms that I just pulled out and just make them again to match the rest of the body so I have this cute little kind of chubby cartoon body Okay, so now we have our uh, cute little body. So now next, let's uh, give them a couple eyeballs. So to give them the eyeballs, I'm going to, again, just use my standard brush, go to uh, Z sub here, and let's make our brush a little smaller. Press S and drag it down. And let's give them a couple eyeballs. So maybe somewhere here. Uh, I'm gonna give them eyeballs. So something like that should work. And now, since we made these uh, holes, let's actually put the sphere in in these uh, sockets. So I'm gonna go to Subtools, do Append, grab a sphere, select the sphere, and then uh, grab my Move tool, scale it down. You can turn on the uh, transparency here if you wanna see a little better. Maybe put this in position. So something like this. Let's get out of the uh, transparency mode. Maybe make this a little smaller. Now, if all, uh, the way I'm zooming in is I'm just holding the Alt key, left clicking, dragging, and then releasing the Alt. So that's that's how that's done. All right. So let's say I'm happy with this eye, right? Something like that is nice and cartoony. Um, so technically, I should be able to mirror it and then mirror and weld. And if you don't know where these two buttons are, they are in uh, Z plugin. Uh, Subtool master is where the mirror is. And then mirror and weld, I believe it's in geometry, modify, topology mirror and weld right there. So those are the two buttons that I'm using to do the eyes. Okay, uh, so that's great. Now we have the body, we have the eyes, and if we wanted the eyes to fit a little better, they seem to be kind of small. I can actually grab my inflate brush, turn on my symmetry and just kind of inflate my eyeballs and maybe grab my move tool and push them back in. So as you can see, there's uh, many different ways to get different, you know, same results. You can use the size, you can use infl infl uh, inflate, there's many different ways of doing things in ZBrush. Uh, all right, let's go to our body. And now uh, let's go ahead and maybe pull out a couple ears just for fun. So for that, I'm going to grab something like, uh, let's grab snake hook. And it's telling me to use, um, sculptures, but I don't know if I need it. I'm going to see if I maybe can do it without it. So I'm just going to just do something really, really simple. I'll just simply pull out a couple ears. I think maybe a little closer to the middle. So something like that is, I think what I was looking for. So that's, that's great. Um, I'm going to hold on control and re -dynamash. And maybe smooth this out. So that's, uh, that's great. If you wanted to pinch it, we can grab our pinch brush and do something like that. Maybe that's a little more interesting. All right, so let's say you're happy with your ears, or you can just keep playing. Uh, here's a spiral. Let's try to spiral them. We can turn them a little bit. Just kind of make it even more playful. So once you're done with your ears, let's move on to, I'm gonna re mesh, maybe press smooth a little more. Um, let's give them a mouth. So for the mouth, simple uh, clay, toy like character here. Let's just give them, let's grab our Damien standard and I'm just going to give them a line. So maybe, I don't know, we have to decide if he's happy 
or let's make this a little more intense. Or maybe he's kind of neutral, maybe he's sad. Kind of decide what you want. Uh, I think my guy's happy. I think that's uh, nice and cool, very, very simple. Let's go ahead and redynamesh this and smooth this out again. And now what I could do is grab my uh, pinch tool, make my brush a little larger, and just kind of maybe pinch these on both sides. So something, something like that. I can grab my move tool, move this up a little bit. I get a little smile. Uh, control, redynamesh. Smooth this out. All right, so that's great. Uh, next, maybe if we want to, let's give him a couple of teeth. So let's append another uh, shape. Grab something like, I don't know, how about we'll just this cube. Select the cube, gr grab our move tool, scale it down. So, kind of shape a tooth-like shape. Maybe something like that should work. Maybe put it in position. And if we hold, on, hold down the control key, we can drag another one and one more. So now he has three teeth, which is great. Go to draw, control to deselect it. And now if we hold on the shift key, we can smooth this out so it's a little more round looking. We can also uh, press this button to kind of center it, maybe move it up. We can still continue sculpting if we needed to. So that's great. Uh, we can grab our move tool, maybe bend it a little bit. All right, so that's how quick it is, quick and fun it is to uh, create a cartoon character in uh, ZBrush. So next, let's maybe, I don't know, let's lower his uh, arms. So to lower his arms, I'm gonna go to the body. And then if, of course we can rename these. So these are, this is a body, these are eyes, and this will be our teeth. So let's start uh, maybe coloring this first um, before we lower the arms. So maybe the body could be, I don't know, should we give him a purple body? How about purple? Purple seems nice. I'm going to go to standard brush, turn on my material and RGB on, and let's just go ahead and say uh, fill object. And if you don't have your fill object, uh, here, I believe that's under, uh, where is that? It's under draw or color. It's under color, fill object right there. All right, so fill your object. So now when you fill it up, you, you should see a little paintbrush here. So now he's purple. Let's go to the eyeballs and make this, maybe make him, what color eyes should we give him? Let's give him black eyes just for fun. I'm going to fill this in. Now go to his teeth. And I'm perfectly fine with him having white teeth. So I'm going to fill this in. All right. Uh, now let's lower his arm. So I'm going to go back to the body, hold on the control key, grab my uh, lasso. Just make, make, be, make a selection, something like this. Click to flip it. Grab our move tool. Oops. Unlock. Put this in position. And then let's lock it and let's bring these down and let's move them kind of somewhere in this area. I think that's cool. Uh, let's go to draw, click to drag to deselect. And I'm actually going to go back to my rectangular here. And now I'm just going to hold on the shift key and just smooth this whole section out until it's nice and smooth. All right, and we can go to perspective to kind of get a better view of this guy. 
Now, this next part is completely optional, but, oh, but, get it, but, if you want to give him a little butt cheek, a little crack, you can do that. That's kind of always cute. And we can smooth this out, make it kind of subtle, but it's back there. And what else can we do just for fun? Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this guy. If you uh, wanted to, you can also grab uh, Damien Standard and maybe give him kind of hands. Maybe grab our move brush and maybe kind of let's kind of flatten this a little bit. Hold on, shift to smooth it, and maybe we can flatten it from here a little bit too. So I think that's that should work. Maybe move this up. So I'm just kind of shaping his hand a little more. Maybe I don't know, something like this should work. And now let's grab our Damien standard. And just let's just draw a finger here. And I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller. Here and here. So make sure your active symmetry is on. And now I can, if I hold on the shift key, I can, if you press the shift, you see right now the Z intensity is all the way up. You can actually tone this down a little bit to like, I don't know, 15. Now if you smooth it, it's a little less intense. But you can see that there's a couple fingers in there. So I think that is uh, a fun little exercise. I hope you had fun. And, um, you know, you can always press BPR to see your results. We can also go to render, turn on our filters. And one filter I like to turn on sometimes just for fun is this one here called sharpen. And then if you turn the sharpen on by clicking this little dot, uh, you see all these uh, things are activated and you can pump up the radius. And you can see the contrast is kind of gets, it gets like this nice little shadow and the image looks a lot more contrasty. Now, in our uh, previous video, we uh, exported this out as a PN transparent PNG, so you could do that. You can bring him into Photoshop and paint some more stuff. But um, yeah, so I think it's a cute little guy. I hope you had fun. All right, so play around. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.